Hello friends, I'm Rithik M. Goyal. Right now I'm doing my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. Today I'll teach you about structure of heart. Basically, heart consists of four chambers, which are right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Now, in the right atrium, we have openings of superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, which uh, brings the blood from all over the body and uh, delivers it into the right atrium. Now blood moves from right atrium into the right ventricle and from the right ventricle it takes an exit from the heart through the pulmonary artery. Now the pulmonary artery now delivers blood to the lungs and it gets purified in the lungs and the pulmonary veins bring back blood into the left atrium. So in the left atrium we have openings of four pulmonary veins. Now the blood moves into the left ventricle from the left atrium. Now from the left ventricle blood again takes an exit through aorta which provides the systemic circulation in our body and uh, provides the blood to various organs within our body. Now we also have septum between various chambers of heart between the right atrium and the left atrium. We have interatrial septum and between the right ventricle and left ventricle we have interventricular septum and between the atria and the ventricle we have atrioventricular septa now heart is a muscular and a conical shaped organ it is present in the mediastinum mediastinum is the space between the two lungs of our body the size of heart is equal to that of fist now heart is mesodermal in origin and also the base of heart is located on the upper side while its apex is directed downwards. We have interatrial septa and it is mentioned in NCRT that interatrial septa is thin and muscular. Also interventricular septa is there which is thick and atrioventricular septa is there which is thick and fibrous. So being fibrous is very important because it prevents the electrical discharges of the atria to reach the ventricle directly and it is responsible for coordinated activity of the four chambers of heart. So its fibrous nature is of quite importance. Now histology of heart will be discussed. Uh, heart has three layers mainly pericardium, myocardium and endocardium. Pericardium has two layers the outer and the inner. Now, between the two layers, we have a fluid which is known as pericardial fluid and it provides lubrication to the heart and reduces the friction when the heart beats. Now, discussing about the myocardium, myocardium is thickest of all the three layers and it is made up of cardiac muscle fibers and endocardium, it consists of connective tissue and endothelium which is the epithelial lining of the heart. Now, right atrium it has openings for superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary sinus. Coronary sinus is that particular vein which drains blood from the tissues of heart itself. Now inferior vena cava is guarded by a va uh, valve which is known as eustachian valve and same, uh, similarly coronary sinus also has a valve which is known as thebasian valve. So the opening of uh, these uh, veins are guarded by valves but superior vena cava opening is not guarded by any valve. Interatrial septa when seen from the right atrium we can see a depression in the interatrial septa namely as fossa ovalis. Now fossa ovalis is a remnant of foramen ovale. Foramen ovale is present in embryonic conditions and it directs blood directly into the left atrium from the right atrium. Now left, we discuss about the left atrium. Left atrium has openings, four openings of pulmonary veins. Left, uh, at left atrium provides blood into the left ventricle and it is uh, through the bicuspid or the mitral valve uh, which is present between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Also between the right atrium and right ventricle we have tricuspid valve.
now let us discuss something about ventricles ventricles uh, have uh, opening for aorta and pulmonary artery the right ventricle have the opening for pulmonary artery while the left uh, ventricle will have the opening for aorta and these openings are guarded by semilunar valves semilunar valves consist of three cusps and uh, uh, these valves open towards the artery now uh, something important which you must know is about the papillary muscles papillary muscles are present within the ventricular wall and uh, they contract during the ventricular systole and further provide strength to the cusp but these papillary muscles are not directly attached to the cusp of these valves and uh, they are connected by a structure known as chordae tendini so chordae tendini are the rope like structures and are found they attach to the ventricular valve inside and they are present uh, they prevent the eversion of atrioventricular valve now uh, let me tell you something about ligamentum arteriosus in embryonic condition we have a ductus arteriosus ductus arteriosus uh, provides the blood directly into the aorta from the pulmonary artery and uh, prevents the blood going from going into the lungs because the lungs are not developed at that time and uh, no pulmonary circulation is needed so it uh, prevents the blood from going into the pulmonary circulation and directs it towards the aorta and uh, also uh, you can revise the structure of heart from this diagram that is this is right atrium and it has opening three openings which are uh, superior vena cava inferior vena cava and of coronary sinus now here you can see chordae tendini within the ventricles and chordae tendinies are attached to the papillary muscles within the ventricular wall and uh, when the ventricle contracts when the ventricle contracts papillary muscles also contract and it prevent and it prevents the eversion of the valves into the atria and hence prevents the backflow of blood also a uh, wall of left ventricle is more thick as compared to the right ventricle now uh, within the right atrium we have an important thing which is known as muscular pectinati muscular pectinati is a group of muscles or the muscular wall of uh, right atria and it's quite rough so it is it has a name known as muscular pectinati here we can see the ligamentum arteriosus and also we can see that uh, there is an interventricular septa now interatrial septum is not shown for uh, the simplicity of the diagram and uh, there are four openings of pulmonary vein these are oblique openings and does not need any valve to prevent the backflow and the avv that is atrioventricular valve of left side is bicuspid and of that of right side is tricuspid then uh, from here you can further uh, study the internal structure this is the right side this is the left side we have the left atrium here and four pulmonary veins are coming and opening into the left atrium while on the right side we have superior vena cava inferior vena cava and uh, papillary uh, papillary muscles are shown along with them chordae tendini and the cusps of atrioventricular valve is also there uh the, the, you can see the thick interventricular septa and the thick wall of left ventricle as compared to that of right ventricle now with this i would conclude my lecture thank you